No need to shock, we've got another van here, another, another nice example to be fair, Ford Transit Custom 2.2 270 trend, um, it's MOT'd until 24th of 4th 2020, it's a 2015 on a 15 plate, fuel economy urban is 39.2, extra urban 44.1 and combined is 42.2, it's 153 brake horsepower 16 valve engine, um, great colour, great colour combination. Just show you around it now. We'll uh, stick these this away. So we've got twin side loading doors. We've got the side protective molding here. Fuel flap. Uh, there you go. Only opens when the passenger doors open. So that's uh, a good safety feature. Really, nobody can nick your diesel overnight. Side loading door. Side loading door on the other side as well. Now on the roof here, we've got a racking system pull that out and uh, put put the rack up like so and lock it into place there you go and there's uh, another two further back twin solid doors here it's ply lined you've got reversing sensors in the bumper there and these you just pull these brackets out the rear doors fold flat so you can reverse right up to a loading bay or get a forklift up and uh, let's just uh, put that back We've got another side loading door here. Now, probably the worst bit on this vehicle, there, there's a scratch that's been touched up. You can hardly see it. It's from there to there. And uh, it's been touched up quite well. If, if you look closely, you can see it, but that's about it. The rest of it's a pretty tidy van. Not sure whether that's shut properly. There we go, that definitely is. So two remote keys there, proper ignition lock, proper blades. It's uh, pretty warm today. So we've got the fan on full blast. I'll turn that down because I know it will be interfering with the with the uh, microphones and uh, the mic on here. Um, let's see. Good specification on this, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Oh, the service history. We've got um, first service 29th of 4th, 2016 at 33,202 miles. That's at um, CEM Day Limited Truck Centre. And then the 4th of 6th, 2017 at 649275. I can't really read that. It looks like Stag's Head or something. Stag's Head Motors. Um, and we'll do it again before it goes out. It's done 107,174 miles. Uh, so, handbrake in the middle there. We've got front centre armrest there on a ratchet. And as I always say, these drivers good as cars. In fact, they're a better driving position than cars. You can see over everything in front. Handles nearly as good as a car. We've got, uh, we've got two power folding door mirrors. We've got the roof bars as well. It's actually got navigation, this one. Only a small screen, but it's, uh, it's still get you there I'll show you how to work that later it's also got Bluetooth hands-free and uh, audio streaming so you can play your music from the phone from your phone through the audio system the cup holders in the side is a cup holder at the top that's probably for a bottle holder stroke flask holder
another bottle holder in the door there. But there was no cars on this roundabout until I got here. <laughs> Great Ford gearbox, nice light clutch. I would I would have to say, although the other vans are good, the Vivaros and so on, the uh, the actual drivetrain of the Transit to me, the uh, matching of the gearbox, the smoothness of the gearbox, um, I I probably prefer the Transit. And I'm not just saying that because I think we've got more Vivaros than we have Transit, so it's an honest opinion. We've got cruise control on the steering wheel here, multifunction steering wheel. Let's see what we've got there. We've got a JCB in front of us, we don't want to run into him. There we go. So there. Average miles per hour, average miles per gallon, instantaneous miles per gallon. I think that's distance covered. And then uh, distance before you need to refuel. Instrument display, rev counter on the left, information display in the centre. Below the information display, on the left hand side is fuel gauge, then coolant temperature gauge, and then on the right hand side is speedo. Got the full bulkhead. bench seat, the centre bit of the middle seat folds down if there's only two of you. You've got kind of a little picnic table stroke. Two more cup holders just in case you haven't got enough with the other six for the two of you. Your heater controls are in the centre there. A six speed gearbox. So great gear change. Don't trust this person here. Outside temperature is showing 30 degrees today, so uh, that's hotter than it was in Sorrento last week. But I know where I'd rather be, <laughs> driving, driving an old Transit here or drinking uh, beer Moretti in uh, Sorrento, the Excelsior Vittoria. Actually, I tell a lie, it was Peroni. <laughs> Good sound system, I've got to say I can't play anything really because um, it's against YouTube's copyright laws. You've got a global locking switch here, open, if you press it twice it opens the back as well. Ply line, twin side loading doors, twin solid rear doors. Just test the cruise control. No, I, I kind of, I do long for the old days. That's actually that's uh, that's it on, and that's it set. So switch on with the centre bit there, and it's, it's kind of like a rocker switch. 
and then I click the top and that's increasing the speed so we're at 70 70 on mine yeah I'm only in fifth there stupid boy so I'm in sixth there we'll just resume oh that's set the speed limiter so we'll get back So there we go, that's 69 miles per hour. It's about 1800 revs. No noises, nice and quiet, no wind noise. I dare say there would be if you had the uh, roof bars up. That, that would uh, generate some uh, resistance and, and noise. But apart from that, it, it drives absolutely fantastic. But getting back to the switches in, in the old days, they were kind of, there used to be a bulb in them really and then in order for them to light up there'd be a cutout so it would never wear off so you always knew it, even a car that had done 200,000 miles you could till, still tell what the switches were whereas these days on the radio and so on it's just kind of painted on the, the switches are see-through themselves and then you've got matte black around the outside of, of kind of some see-through white paint but when it all wears off you're just left with nothing um, so you know back to the proper old switches would be great for me here we go indicators on the left here wipers on the right headlamps are here side and headlamp press away the indica indicator switch easy for me to say press away the in indicator switch and that switches your main beams on we've got the electric door mirrors that one's working switch over to there yep that's working too try the wipers wipers are good actually the wipers aren't good these new wiper blades and uh, we've got heated front screen on this, which is a godsend. The switch is just there. Brakes are good, no, no vibrations or wobbles coming through the brakes or any feedback through the foot pedal. So brakes and discs, all good. Just sports car handling yep no indicators oh guess where you're going on the right hand side here you've got your phone controls the red phone green phone green phone for ad answering red for dinking people volume control and you've also got your voice activation I actually thought he was going to drive up the inside of me then that's when I uh, hesitated a little bit there another compartment with the 12 volt socket in 12 volt socket there as well I think we might even have I can't remember some of them have a plug socket in the center and inverter but I don't think this one has let me just have a look no it hasn't the, the one time I've remembered to tell everybody about it it's this one hasn't got one They just drive so good. Look at that. Look at that.
good brakes. and reminded myself about being Moretti and Peroni. I could just do with one, it's absolutely roasting in the UK. somewhere with a bit of shade and I'll show you how to delete a mobile, pair a mobile, stream audio and uh, set the sat nav. So another really, really nice van, great work tool, nice and clean, nice and clean cabin and uh, not just your usual white van man impression, the colour that I would, uh, I would like to have on any car really, nice metallic blue. Here we go, I'll pull up here. Still no shade, but hopefully you'll be able to see the uh, radio there.